Hey, what is up guys? It's Fontek over here with another video and in this one guys I'm going to be comparing iPhone 6 running 10.3.3 to an iPhone 6 running 11.2 So stay tuned All right guys, so first up I'm gonna put up both devices here So this one's 10.3.3 where this is 11.2 So let's see which one's faster. I'm assuming a 10.3.3 would be faster because it has less stuff to load and both are 16 gigs here and this one has barely like 12 apps on it so 11.2 has some advantage there when it comes to memory less apps installed there so yeah uh, iPhone 6 now is pretty old that's the fourth iOS on it at 10 .3. actually 11.2 was faster amazing yeah so and now comes the iOS 10.3.3 took some time. 11, so 11.2 was faster when booting up. First time seeing that. Maybe because they got rid of this uh, flashing Apple logo and uh, uh, boot up now, so it increased the speed of iOS 11 boot up. That's good there. Guys, so uh, both devices have nothing running in the background. So let's uh, first up go for Geekbench, both Geekbench 4. Launching the app was millisecond or so faster on the iOS 10.3.3. So let's just go for a CPU test and run benchmark. I'm gonna, as always, guys, I'm just gonna skip through. All right, guys, there you have it. So uh, iOS 10.3.3 did perform poorer there. So I, iOS 11.2 did 200 better on single core score and about 360 on the multi core score. For some reason, iOS 11.2 did outperform the iOS 10.3.3, which is a good thing to see. I'm jumping out of Geekbench. All right, guys, so everything is close to background both here, and let's go. First up, calendar, about the same. So this is 10.3.3, or this is 11.2. Camera, taking pics. Both took some time, but this had flash on. So I'm gonna say it's about the same. Next up, weather. And I'd say that 10.3.3 was slightly faster. Next up, maps. Um, I thought 11.2 was faster, but it turns out that 10.3.3 loaded the map faster. Next up, clock. Faster than 10.3. Oh, I mean 11.2, sorry guys, my bad. And next up, stocks. About the same. Um, next up, notes. And 10.3.3 was faster. Next up, app store. And... So yeah, it's about the same, maybe 11.2 was faster accessing the App Store, but loading the latest content, 10.3.3 was faster. Uh, next up, just gonna go for watch, and 10.3.3 uh, was faster actually. All right, so phone app, exactly the same. Next up, Safari. So yeah, 10.3.3 was kind of faster. Let's load something. Let's go for TV. And it's about the same. Yeah, maybe exactly the same as well. That's good to see. Health and, oh yeah, I think 10.3.3 was faster. Home, definitely 10.3.3. So guys, next up, I'm gonna go for games. So first up, this one here. So yeah, uh, it looks fast, it was a bit faster on the 10.3.3, but not that much. Next up, Floor is Lava. I think it launched first on the 11.2, but looks like 10.3.3 is kind of faster. Though. And both are taking some time. Oh yeah, okay. So 10.3.3 did well there, better. And let's go for Tempo Run 2. So yeah, at this point, maybe 11.2 is decent, but guys, uh, I don't know, 10.3.3 is more stable there. And uh, if you guys have a device with 10.3.3, I think it's better to stay there.
But this game is loading faster on 11.2 for some reason. But that's good. Oh yeah, 11.2 did outperform the 10.3.3 there and there was some lag. Oh yeah, there too. So it's an iPhone 6 thing, maybe that update. Okay, so yeah, definitely 11.2 was faster. Leaving was faster on the more responsive on 11.2. And next up this one, Camille on both. Both are taking some time. Maybe 10.3.3 will be faster. About the same actually. So maybe 11.2 did improve iPhone 6 a bit. Because 11.2 is the most stable iOS 11 version till now. They did work on improving. And 10.3.3 was faster. Next up, Mario Run. And yeah, launching it 12 faster on 11.2. But I think the Temple 3.3 will launch uh, faster as well. So yeah. But the difference is really uh, negligible, to be honest. All right, leaving out. Now trying the control panel. Oh yeah, definitely 10.3. 11.2 did lag. And that's it, guys. I'm just gonna launch onto the benchmark. And it won't allow that. And then I'm just going to go for multitasking. So let's go all the way to calendar. Okay, so 10.3, uh, 11.2 had to refresh. Weather. Again, 11.2 had to refresh. 10.3.3 kept in the background. So yeah, iOS 10 was more optimized for one gigabyte of RAM. They yeah, both had to refresh maps. Some lag there on 10.3.3 while multitasking. And I'm gonna go for some heavier stuff there, Safari. And yeah, and actually both had to refresh. So yeah, again, uh, iOS 10 is not uh, optimized for one gigabyte RAM, but more than, uh, it's still more than iOS 11. Next up, a game. Okay, both had to refresh. Let's go for Temper Run. And actually, both had to refresh. And next up, Floor is Lava. So I think that now nah, both have to refresh. So yeah, uh, when it comes to RAM management, maybe iOS 10.3.3 is slightly better than 11.2, but both did refresh most of the apps. So uh, next up, guys, I'm just going to close everything in the background and run on 2 to benchmark like always. So guys, I did close everything in the background and kept on 2 to benchmark only. And I'm going to start a test here. Again, this is 10.3.3 and this is 11.2. And starting here. All right, guys, there you have it. These are the scores. And uh, for some reason, good reason, iOS 11.2 did outperform the iOS 10.3.3. Again, just showing the control center here. So 3D wise, iOS 10 did better. iOS 11.2 did a bit worse and UX better on the 11.2. CPU better on 11.2 and RAM better on 11.2. So mostly everything's better on 11.2 except for the 3D. So good stuff there. Maybe, maybe um, they did really fix the issues. And as you can see, guys, the percentage, battery percentage here is 38%, 46. So the difference at the beginning was about 9%. So it's still about the same. So performance-wise, both did well with the battery. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison between the 10.3.3 and the 11.2 on iPhone 6s. And uh, guys, I want to say that iPhone 6 running 10.3.3 is way cooler. This one is overheated than 11.2 iPhone 6. 
And guys, when it comes to battery, I want to correct something. So this phone started at 65% and this started at 56, uh, 52, sorry guys, so 13% difference. And at the end, the difference is just 7%. So this lost double the battery amount, so uh, an 11.2. So 10.3.3 has a better battery. So hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more content and peace out.